Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Not an SGW show. Today I have a very inspiring woman who is Ikram Al Aimish. You may know her from uh, Instagram. She is a books grammar. So uh, Ikram, tell us a bit about yourself for those who don't know you. Hello, sure. Hello, hello. Shall I ask you a question? Hello, I'm Ikram Al Aimish. I'm a new specialist in Jazeera. نقرا اونغلي لي تاغاتيو كانك ندير بزاف فايس تاع الفواياج فيميل امباورمنت تاني اي ميك بوكس كونتنت اون انستغرام الوغ اذا راكم انتريسو بالبوكس كونتنت سو ذات ماي ثينك هذه هي الحاجه اللي تيجور نديرها ام ام ريلي انتو ريدينغ اي لاف ريدينغ دونك فوالا ذس از سيمبلي اكرام Yeah, Ikram is very amazing. She is very young who achieved a lot of things, honestly. She, you are very inspiring for someone your age, being a female, with it from the deep, deep south. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. from the deep, deep south. We're more like really deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the South does not have as much educational opportunities or resources as the North uh, does. So I think what you achieved is really mind blowing. Yeah, exactly. Well, he have got to tell me about you know motivating others. Uh, if I can have just had learned from like being a girl from the South, he uh, and no, me lazim sh me lazim sh. necessarily كل واحد من النورث ولا من certain big city باش يدير الحوايج اللي بغيهم even people in small cities can really do a lot they can go to places they can study they can sacrifice many things uh, just to achieve their dreams دونك هذه uh, حاجه اللي toujours i focus on it واللي ما نشوفهاش as a barrier to stop me from uh, doing a face with that you know yeah even though you could have achieved more in a bigger city but being from a, a small city or a city in the south did not stop you and we need this mentality i feel like people i'm not going to do that i'm going to give up which was not the case if health can see yeah exactly well uh كيف بدنا نحكي لك إذا رايحة أفريكا، my life was full of ups and downs. Um, ما كانش بغي ما حاجة سهلة إني ندير بزاف عفايس، but uh, well الحمد لله anyway يعني I did a lot of things and I'm still planning to do more إن شاء الله. بس at the point of all of this uh, مشي just uh, la partie تاع أنا أشوفين my dreams ولا toujours بيش نكون أنا المير. مي uh, أوسي بيش ندير motivation بزاف ناس واحد خلينا على بالي كان uh, بزاف نساء وبنات و يعني اي واحد من ماي ايج اللي فريمون راهم باغيين يديروا بزاف عفايس باغيين يروحوا يقراوا باغيين يروحوا يفواياجي باغيين يبداو بروجي يديروا بزاف عفايس دونك نحوس انا ثاني كيفاش ندير لهم موتيفاسيون باش دي كان دو سوتش ثينغ يا ذا موست امبورتانت ثينغ ذا بيسيس تاع اول اوف ذيس از يو كرييت يور اون تشانس و يو ورك هارد فور ات مي جون تستنى اي واحد يدير لك اي حاجه اند اي بليف رانا راح ندخلوا في موضوع اخر خلاص رجعي هربنا على البودكاست رجعينا لوجهنا نحكيوا هنايا سو جايز اليوم انا اكرام انا اكرام رايحين نحكيوا على body image specifically or self-esteem in general since Ikram has been working on this uh, topic for a while now with Dove which we'll uh, talk about later on. So um, our topic is basically body image how we look at ourselves and how we deal with our bodies from the beginning of our bodies how we look at them. So um, Ikram, what do you think about uh, the body image mentality in Jazeera? Well, here can you talk about the body image mentality in Jazeera? It's the case that it's not different from the other countries. We see that it's the same in everywhere around the world. We see that the people who are all of them are the same as they are the same as they are the same as they are. ولات الناس كلها تشوف دي فوتو نتاع ستارز اون سوشيال ميديا 
ولا تشوف تاع ناس يقولوا بلي فوالا هادو خير منا علاش حنا ما نكونوش ثاني كيما هكا علاش ما نوضوش نبدلوا هاد الحاجه فينا وتشوف يوم يديروا فايس كيما هكا تو ساتيسفاي اذرز نو ايفن ذيم سيلفز ويتش از سمثين رونغ انا غير بدي ايمج في الزاير نشوفها بلي اتس بيست اون كوبين اذر بيبول ماشي on being yourself or uh, doing the things that you love because the ones they change their own body image to satisfy other people surtout les gens qui sont dans la société d'eux donc the main cause of all of this they toujours ils font la bête jamais le واحد qui gagne ils font faire rouh ou les dit que ah ana nkhdem la fsa hadi fiya ana ndir hadi fiya ou la puisque ana bghi had alhaja chogol toujours toujours la majorité تاع العباد يقول لك because that thing is trending i'm doing it as well so people will compliment me and they will think i'm perfect too yeah و تشوفي هذا اللي مش غير في الجزائر في any place in the world uh, body image ولا نقولوا body goals تاع كل واحد كل فرد من هذاك المجتمع تجي على حسب البيئه اللي راه فيها مثلا تشوفي واحد in the US ولا in Europe تلقاهم Uh, men want to be muscular and lean and girls want to be super thin alors que حنا عندنا مثلا البنات يقول لك يحبوا العرض تحب تكون عريضه <laughs> you know what i'm saying Genre, yeah. <laughs> yeah they That's like perfect yeah they like being thick to satisfy the social standards alors que um, i think it is more emphasized in women both in the US so in the West generally women uh, uh, genre they care way too much about their body image وهذا الشيء بزاف باين عندنا تلقاها ملي تنوض هي لاتيا with her looks she obsesses about um, her makeup uh, about her weight uh, she 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 restricts her diet ولا she goes through uh, eating disorders to achieve a certain body type alors que a male عندنا يقول لك الراجل ما يعيبو والو ميم فيزيكلي تلقاها ما يهتموش that much about their physique كيما البنات عندنا yeah well هي technically حاجه اللي حاطاها في السوسايتي يعني نشوفوا باللي التفكير الذكوري هذاك في المجتمع وباي ذا واي باي تفكير الذكوري مانيش نعني ك رجال هما والو ولا نعني قصد حاجه واحده اخرى سيمبلي اي مين المجتمع الذكوري وتفكير الذكوري اللي مادي له اهميه كبيره هو انه يديروا تمجيد للفكره الذكوريه وباللي الراجل ما عيب والو والحاجه هذيك تاع الراجل ما عيب والو هي من اكبر الحاجات اللي قادره تخلق لينا كرايسيس ما بين العباد ماشي جوست فور ومن بصح ثاني فور مان يبداو يشوفوا روحهم بزاف بيرفكت كو ما يخصهم والو كو اتس اولويز ذا ايشو از اولويز ان فيميل سو لازم هما يدبروا كيفاش يكونوا بيرفكت ويتش از سو رونغ لازم كامل حنايا اون جينيرال از هيومن بيينغ كو سوا وي ار فيميلز ولا وي ار ميلز نورمال So we should think that the body image تاعنا والتفكير تاعنا نحو السلوكيات اللي نديروها للجسم تاعنا هي حاجه اللي لازم ندوا لها اهميه ماشي من باب ان we should satisfy the society ولا بصح at least satisfy ourselves we should accept the way that we look and then we should um, we should accept doing good things for our bodies ماشي to satisfy others بصح for us Hmm. And I feel like um, this issue that covers the media. You can see Instagram models that are showing us a You know, fitness girls. They, they are fake on so many levels. She has implants. She had surgery. Um, uh, photoshopped a filter. They do. everything كل شيء to make their body and their photos look perfect وما نجوا حنا the consumers the social media consumers نشوفوا نغزروا بها نقول oh, why am I am I not this perfect وانا علاش عندي الحب في وجهي وانا علاش عندي uh, some extra belly fat وانا it's created هذا image unrealistic image of a human body to us and we buy it and people actually believe it They don't realize it is fake. 
ومن هناك شغل تكاثرت ولا زادت صعابه المشكله تاع الباري ايمج بيكاز ديما نقارنوا جسمنا اللي هو حقيقي وطبيعي بصور و اجساد لناس في السوشيال ميديا ولا اون تي في ولا اون ماجازينز اللي ماهمش ريال سو يا اكشولي ذا بوينت يو هاف ا بوينت عندك الحق ما لازمش الناس يشوفوا وات از اون سوشيال ميديا از ذا ريل لايف بيسكي اتس ذا كونتراري بيبول بوست اون سوشيال ميديا الحوايج اللي خليوهم هما يحسوا راضيين على رواحهم ما سي امبوسيبل تلقي واحد هكا في لي ريزو سوسيو يبوست لي حاجة أه يعني أي حاجة شغل مام كي بوستيو عفايس يبوستيو <hesitation> دي فوتو ولا دي بوست اونلي بارت اوف ذير لايف ماشي كامل ذير لايف ولا على باليش ولا شغل زعما وحدة هكا تجيك ويزاوت ميك اب ريرلي سي جيرلز ويزاوت ميك اب سما لا ماجوريتي Uh, they love showing up in good looks. They always love to be trending. They always uh, love to copy other people. And this is something that affects their communities or the people who are in them. They tell you, "Believe me, this person is being so perfect." And I just want to show you, etc. So this creates us. It creates us. At some point, people are they fake uh, from themselves. باش they satisfy others ولا تاني كهما باش يبانو way too cool uh, which is something really wrong yeah وكيما قلت يا ديما it's not for ourselves but it's uh, by comparison to others and to satisfy others because كي تجي تخمي فيها واحد فينا ما كان مريح وقال oh my body is not good ولا I'm not good enough جونغ كامل we had an experience usually if uh, في في الطفوله نتاعنا ولا في our teenage years especially if CM I think we all had an incident there where like someone kind of bullied us ولا خليني ما نقولش bullied us قال pointed something in our body اللي مش مليح like yeah. <laughs> you are fat ولا نيفك كبير ولا I don't know your skin color is uh, is ugly ولا حاجه كيما المهم جامي بدا المشكل من داخلنا هكا ديما كان كاين a trigger which is another person's exactly. opinion لي احنا من بعد well, هذه actually mm-hmm. yeah go on well هذه actually كي نجيو نحكيو على البادي ايمج وكيما يعني تفهمنا المره اللي فاتت هي تكون uh, it's a general fact يعني the first impression that we have uh, about our body uh, ماشي هي اللي كشغل ماشي احنا اللي we developed it uh, people يعني aren't born racist ولا bullies or know what hate is جنغ children وسيغتو children they are born as a white paper يعني no one of us uh, no one of us um, was born with that hate or racism inside of us Kamel uh, at some point تعلمنا من society it was filling us in he go look the child is born as a white paper which means in the end you can speak in the mentality of the little one you can speak in the same way you can speak in the same way you can speak in the same way and you can speak in the same way and you can speak in the same way ملي نعرف بلي يعني بيين فات از اغلي ويرين جلاسز از اغلي هافين اكني اون يور فيس از اغلي شغل كلشي يشوفو اغلي و بيرفكشن ات سوم بوينت تلقاها ات دازن اكزيست شغل ما عندوش ديك ليماج في مخهم بلي فوالا ذا بيرسون از اكشولي بيرفكت ولا بيرفكشن تو ذام مينز اه ذا بيرسون هاز ا بيوتيفول هير بيوتيفول ايز سو هما بزاف بيرفكت ويتش از سومثين totally wrong here then when uh, people judge us we keep seeing that as a flaw yani when people judge us since they don't like that think about us voila معناها ugly معناها الناس كامل راهي رايحه تخمم لا ميم شوز كو الحاجه هذه فينا مش مليحه ولازم نبدلوها لازم نكونها شويه etc and actually we never accept our appearances in fact they make us feel bad about them و حاجه اللي جامي تعلمناها ولا ابخي أه ابخي بزاف عفايس تلقاي ات سوم بوينت العباد هادوك اللي أه لقاو بروبلمز مع ذير بادي ايمج اكسيتيرا يلحقوا لواحد زبوه 
when they will realize that being different is beautiful. Difference is beautiful. يكذب عليك اللي يقول لك بلي لازم كاع نكونوا بيرفكت ولا كاع لازم نكونوا شابين ولا مصطلح تاع شابين باي ذا واي زعما الناس طلقوها كاع لا اني ثينك يو كان بي حنايا ان اور اون وايز وي ار بيوتيفول اند وي ار بيرفكت فور اور اون سيلفز جونغ الناس كانوا ديفرنت ما قادرينش واحد يكون كوبي بيست على ذا اذر بيرسون جست تو ساتيسفاي ذا سوسايتي ولا يبين بلي اه فوالا شوفوا انا ديجا وليت شباب خلاص اي ورك فور ماي سيلف It, it doesn't work like that. Like, yeah, but it doesn't work like that. I'm so shocked. Literally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just because someone finds you not beautiful, even ugly, does not mean that is the absolute truth. Does not mean that uh, who can find you absolutely stunning and gorgeous doesn't mean that you can't look at yourself as beautiful and charming so uh have you had any body image issues growing up okay so yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, well, the main point of everything mm. uh, and I, keep yes, i faced a lot of issues my body image i've been always the tall person <laughs> I used to play with my classmates or whenever they see me in the pictures I always had to stand in the back like literally This is the picture of the school that we have in the film that we have in the flagship Literally I always leave me in the back simply because I'm way too tall and yeah I should stay there anyway which is something that يعني, was ridiculous هي يعني يا yeah, I mean we stand in the back obviously باش ما نديرقوش على الناس القلال and we should all show up in the image بصح الشغل uh, I grew up with هذيك المنتاليتي نتاع العفت لي uh, they are in the back of the picture they doesn't matter واللي يكونوا in the front of the picture هما كلش هما محور الكون which which was totally ridiculous to always think that which you can let children uh, يخليو بيناتهم بلي فوالا Oh, and I hello to the back side picture. Ma hadoks ma'ana fi la in the front line. Like hna li fi li ghana fi front line. Ho hna ho ma kullish. Which is something ridiculous, Danik. Pus ki kibir lagabti khman fi rohu bli vala. I'm not perfect. Ya hayati. Ya Rabbi fi la hadoks tawar tali kol tawla. Ota zokan irmani lrad. Hadoks la hadoks haka hadoks la. Like literally, you will feel that you're a monster or something like that, which is the contrary. So basically, the story of this picture, I started to talk about the story of one of the things that I, you are tall, how are you, and how are you going to talk about it, and how are you going to talk about it, and how are you going to talk about it. When I used to play with other kids, they would say, you are too tall to run with them and play with them. You seem like older than them. So this story, it affected me as a child when it had to the point where I used to refuse to play outside like other kids. كنت توجور نبقى at home whenever هكا the kids in my neighborhood they called me ولا نقول لهم بلي I can't ولا my parents aren't at home so ما قلت نخرج بلا permission تاعهم المهم توجور تلقى excuse هذاك باش ما نزيدش نخرج لاني I look tall and I know I will be judged and I know at the end of the day ما راحش نفرح اني خرجت لعبت برا كيما لي زونفون الاخرين ونفرحوا كامل بصح I will go back to home crying And blaming myself, and I am really tall, and that's an issue. So I should fix that. Or think about solutions. Where in fact, I can't find solutions. I was born like that, and I'm tall. Okay, that's the thing. I should accept it and move on. Um, I guess even like from playing, or like I'm my childhood to be happy. You know. Ah, after the problem. كلحقنا like in middle school and high school ما ولاتش about being tall anymore بيسك obviously كنت نقرا مع ناس واحد اخرين from يعني different schools as well so تلاقيت بعباد even taller than me so it was no longer an issue لعباد صاي سي بون زعما بداو يكبروا at some point ما ولاتش تحتقرهم ديك الحكايه تاع اكرام is the tallest so ولينا في البروبليم تاع skin color like literally لحقنا To the to the most ridiculous point, because I'm not white, 
then I cannot argue about something with someone. Ula, I cannot be the first in class. Ula, I cannot even um, uh, win an argument. Hello. I is mean, that even an argument? I mean, I don't for real, they use it where... as an argument? Yeah, they do. Trust me, they do. Like, they literally do. And the thing is, I do come from mixed parents. So it never bothered me to see Jami. Like for me, literally, my family is mixed. I don't know what racism is. Perfect from not being perfect. And I told you, all the skin colors are beautiful, or the skin colors are skin colors anyway. So, no matter. But people, they used to see that as uh, something uh, weird, even though. Gandas alabalhum kushnaya south pain uh black people, white people, yani it's mixed normal mu kung t guli believe like kunkain culture shriya, kunkain sa no um malhabush la hadaf le poor when someone uh you know they are just because of your skin color, but it actually happened many times. Uh ki kuntaka for example between uh my friends group even in high school, to jo kin jin mid an argument about something will uh uh, you know, when you win the talk, then one of the um, Hadiki group, they go, uh, shut up, you nega, and you nega. So, she told you the word Hadik, and it was really ridiculous. It's not, it's not something to you to use. And she has a, I don't know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, oh my god, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, and you take arguments. Well, literally, the classical arguments you start um, giving them hawaj meaningless, ولا مهم تحضر بس تحضر and you make fun of them just because uh, of the way they look, ولا of their skin color, which is the worst thing ever. Yeah, uh, and okay. it's the stupidest things ever. I know, right? بزاف. Yeah, كملي. Okay, كين تاني لا بختي تا. Hypothyroid. Okay, so basically, since I was nine years old, uh, my parents discovered, believe it or um, diagnosed with hypothyroid. Who kishol can observe typhin, you know, from the things they heard from doctors. Will not be can under hypothyroid. It will affect my life. And at some point, kishol. Uh, They've been always telling me, believe voila, it's gonna stay for a while and this illness will end. You know, the lies you tell your child uh, mm-hmm. just to make them feel better. Uh, I mean, I don't blame them because at some point, they didn't want me to think that there is something wrong with me. Uh, they showed a lot of support, a lot of love towards that thing. Uh, once it came out to the society that I have hypothyroid, then I Can you feel like normal people? And you know, people started to ask really annoying questions. Like at some point, uh, when I literally feel like I'm not a normal human being. Because voila, I'm sick, then. It means the normal are much better than me. Uh, and yeah, when I was nine years old, they first discovered my teacher knew about the thing. Then she started screaming at me. You should not run. And that thing, other kids who study with me, they became like, oh, you're sick. You can do nothing to us. They used to bully me at some point. They run away. Thinking that running after them will... Uh, that at some point I'm not sure how I'm going to tell them about hypothyroid but I seemed weird at some point in their eyes uh, so basically in middle school technique it affected me a lot 
uh, because it was the hardest phase of having hypothyroid because heck at some point where I used to get sick in the middle of uh, you know classes heck I mean normal after I used to pass out I don't feel like I can walk anymore I cannot feel like I can heck I can breathe a lot so uh, they used to call my father to take me home and once I go home uh, it's just me staying in bed for weeks not even a day will uh, for a normal time it was literally for weeks that i cannot move i cannot do a lot of things i always feel dizzy i should follow diets who left face had a camel uh so it really affected me at some point in the i felt that i cannot continue my studies i cannot continue doing a lot of things in my life uh i don't have the perfect body because of this illness, I got really fat at some point. Will it happen then? Bizarre thyroid. Will it? Uh, will it happen? I started to feel ugly about myself just because I have that illness, and it really affected me. Could imagine? Had to point when I had a little burn. Could very much feel Voila! I will be in high school. Uh, also, I will uh, be studying science, who will be the coolest person ever. I didn't know that I was going to go to high school. I didn't I school زعما نورمال نتمشى وحدي بلا ما يصرى لي والو بلا ما نمرض ميبي اي ويل باس اوت بالك ما نقدرش نكمل القرايه بالك اي كان نوت دو ذيس بالك اي كان نوت ووك اي كان نوت دو ا لوت اوف ثينجز كيفاش راح يكون الاوبينيون تاع الناس عليا كي يشوفوني هكا جاتني سيك ان ذا ميدل اوف سكول ميبي ذي ويل ستارت ميكين جوكس اباوت مي يقولوا بلي او فوالا هم جايبين وحده مريضه تقرا معنا اي تو اي هاد اول اوف ذوز ثوتس ان ماي هيد when I was in high in high school, I, I felt afraid for the whole day that I will get sick at some point. I hired my father to take me. Uh, they will take me to the hospital or something. Maybe I will pass out and just wake up in another place. So I didn't have any thoughts on that I'm not perfect. Thoughts believe while well, other kids they can walk, they can run, they can do a lot of activities, they can eat anything, and more specifically everything. Uh, I was following strict diets. Uh, I had to follow them to lose weight. I had to do that so I can always be healthy and I can feel normal again. But it's something that uh, had to the point where if it affected me mentally. So uh, did I always stress out? Did Haka will in a depression, tal panic attacks? And at the time I didn't know I had la face kind of symptoms uh, of my illness. I I didn't tell my parents what I used to feel. Will it toujours I keep them for myself and I stay quiet as long as it can be I, I pass out a lot. I get sick at the middle of the night. The last thing I remember normal. I see myself uh, waking up in the hospital. I see my mom taking my hand and I see my father being worried about what happened. At, at that time, it affected me mentally. So, yeah, uh, one time I went to see my doctor, I remember. I tell him, I, I think about myself, I'm not perfect. It became a real struggle for me. Uh, so I tried to reach some friends. I told them about what happened. The time that I did, a friend of mine introduced me to mental health, believe voila, or you should read about this, you should educate for yourself or Kamil. Après when they got symptoms hadouk, they match scientific researches. Believe voila, l'absahadi, it's really normal and had sara l'wahid li kun andul hypothyroid at some point. 
they feel stressed, they feel those things. Uh, panic attacks. I thought that's not something normal that is happening to me. No. But uh, after I started to figure out how to deal with it. Maybe just I had a lot of problems with that, and always thinking bad for the rest of my life. Which literally it affected me a lot. Tma, you can just show me how to clear them. راح تشوفي بلي كاينه حاجه ماهيش نورمال ماهيش كامل نورمال um, so basically بديت ندير ريسيرشز بديت نعرف بزاف امور and at some point i stopped going always waking up uh, in the hospital كامل وليت when i get uh, panic attacks at home or feel depressed i know how to act i know what to do exactly uh, when i feel depressed ولا نحس روحي بلي فوالا i'm not feeling well uh, I always used to write and until now, whenever I feel that I'm not fine, I write about it. I write all my feelings. Uh, when I get my panic attacks, I know how to exactly deal with them. She just, uh, when I get it, that means, oh, I cannot do a lot of things. I should go to the hospital or else I'm dying, which, which was not the case, Yanni. Uh, it only means I should know how to control such things. And ما نخليش العفايس هادو uh, they affect me ولا نخلي العفايس هادو uh, for people to use them against me باش يقولوا لي بلي I am not capable of doing بزاف عفايس ولا I'm not capable even for uh, to continue my studies ولا for example uh, باش ندير بزاف عفايس واحد اخرين uh, which I discovered that the power is in me you know uh, I take control over things. Mishi people, they take control over things. Willa, they take control over how they want to see me. Willa, uh, they take control of, voila, you should not be that way. You should be that way. Um, and probably the most stage that I, I truly regret for <laughs> the rest of my life, here can stage the uh, middle school. Uh, I feel, by the way, I don't know if this yeah, is yeah, I listen. 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 نشفا كان عندي a group of friends اللي كانوا only girls alors j'étais هذاك كيفاش تعرفي لا سيغ تاع مين girls yeah <laughs> okay j'étais toujours هذوك المين girls اللي تشوفيهم like in high school ولا كيما لا سيغ تاع مين girls yeah هذوك الجروب تاع البنات اللي شغل هما 100% العالم يتمحور حولهم etc i used to have that group of friends a, well, badly, I was the group leader. <laughs> so basically, the group had that, can also they try to control me to be perfect. We are the perfection of perfection in middle school, so we should always keep it that way. And it is something that it affected me. Imagine it had to the point where we decided to start wearing the same clothes. Like literally, can, uh, <laughs> by example, at the end of the day, we decide about the things that we will be wearing tomorrow. Like literally, gang, wearing all the same clothes and pretending that voila, we are perfect, to, we are so cool. And at some point, it didn't only affect people with us in middle school, but it affected some members of us. At some point, I don't belong to that group of girls. But since we got the power, I should, I should stay with them. Madam, عندهم voila, like uh, literally, واحد ما يضربهم, واحد ما يعيب عليهم, like هما خباشات إتو دونك إحنا يا هما perfection. Whereas deep inside, ما كناش perfect at all. So that was something uh, that I really regret. ولكن بلك, I can go back in time. I will choose to have another friends rather than that group the the yes ma fascinating yeah regina so, george yeah. will be so proud of you i know right but i think so yeah basically i tried to summarize that face gap 
Yeah, I think uh, that um, chronic illness uh, stigma is the worst kind of stigma. La maladie bhal betha rahi takul fiik, tehlik lik fi both your physical and mental health. Uzid, you have to deal to with people's reaction to it. And I think Makash Bzaf Abad who are aware of this. I think we should address this much, much more for Jazeera. And I, as a medical student, yeah, exactly. I, will, I will address it more. Now that I heard your story, I promise you I will address it more. Ah, uh, Sebo, we saw would be fighting for us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, that would be something great. Honestly, how uh, do you how to fight such thing? We can fahmu society by being sick is not the end of the world. We la haja that we can joke about. Uh, it's not funny, you know. It's not funny to make jokes about someone who's already struggling with their own body, who's struggling mentally. Actually, they are barely surviving. When you are not zidu to come to them, like you don't want them even to exist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is sad. But in a way, from another perspective, it really made you who you are. If you had the struggle, you would not end up the strong woman, woman you are today. So in a way, I am really uh, like... Uh, thankful for all, all the shit that I've been through in my life. Yeah. Yeah, حكينا حكينا the things yeah, that you uh, faced in the past. I will start with my own version of uh, body image struggle. Well, Anna, من ناحيتي, I was, let's say, fat, with obese my whole life. I don't remember being thin or skinny من صغري. مانيش even my pictures. I'm, I'm always chubby. Um, yeah, either I am chubby or la fat. Makanch the, the skinny picture of me. So I didn't really have a problem with this mm-hmm. at first. No, it was my body. When I got into middle school, people started pointing fingers. The fat girl. The fat girl who is on top of the class. Wow. <laughs> That's not okay with me. Being fat and on top of the class. It doesn't add up to them in a way. I don't know. Uh, it really... Uh, and one of my friends, she was really close to me. Uh, I heard her talk, I overheard her. She was mad. I was shook and I loved her. I, cared, I know I cared so much about her opinion of me. And Milfemma, my struggles began. But I wanted to like change physically, let's say to please her more. She would like me. I, what I thought as a like a 13 year old, maybe she would like me more if I was thinner. You know what I'm saying? But then my being fat led me to having eating disorders. I would, at first, I would not, uh, I would eat salad the whole day. And then I lost some weight. The, the weight stopped my, my scale. I got stuck at some point. So was, I have to eat even less. Ushili less than eating salad the mm-hmm. whole day. Not eating at all. I would spend like really then uh, I would completely lose my shit and binge eat 
وعدت داخله في this vicious cycle of not eating for two days then binge eating for uh, the whole next day ومن بعد نعاود the, the cycle جونغ في بالي دايره باللي زعما كي ما ناكلش نهارين راح نكاموفلي على النهار هذاك اللي هربت فيه الحاله and it went on and on for months تقدر تقولي حتى years وانا في نفس الحاله and this really affected my mental health genre. I hated my body I was not eating وكي ناكل ناكل غير unhealthy food you mean I mean chocolates pancakes uh, ice cream you name it كل شيء unhealthy that I was craving I would eat it and and this went on I think mm-hmm. I moved till high school and then in high school um I got tired. Jean Gould's girl, this is not working out. You've been doing this for years. Uh, you're st- يعني I lost some weight. قولي واحد في 15 كيلو ولا but still ما زلت نشوف في روحي the same fat girl. Jean. On the scale, أنا ناقصة 15 كيلو بس في المرايا ما زلني نشوف روحي the same. ثم all that progress ما زلني نشوف روحي the same with the same نفس الشعور بالإشمي إذا from my body. Uh, and I believe كنت ندور في uh, on Instagram and شفت uh, a coach talking about flexible dieting and this was uh, the starting point of my fitness journey you know, I googled to what the hell is flexible dieting Legit, it's a whole science of nutrition وكيفه, you know you live the most balanced life I read a lot of books and كتاب يدي الكتاب كتاب and Instagram account يدي to another Instagram account I got into fitness the fitness industry yeah they all advocate for uh, having a balanced life a balanced diet working out uh, I بدخلت لصال بديت نتعلم في the science of uh, working out training especially uh, lift weight lifting I would mm-hmm. lift weights and all that hard work genre ma kuntch like bin nhar w bin lila w nhar nod sbah and i'm like wow now i love my body you know it wasn't it wasn't the case for me genre i i invested so much work in this genre ta'allamt kull shi from the scratch i learned a whole science by my by myself li wa nutrition and working out ta'allamt wahdi ta'rfi shhal i spent nights researching and then that, when I look back, genre, look at what I have achieved. It, genre, it became to me so much work that I didn't have I struggled for this or I worked for this. Genre, when he tries to judge me, I will say, this is what I did for the Ishmael. I will say, look at my body and see it. A hard-working body, a machine, a machine that managed to achieve so many things, will let so, can uh, um, we thick-skinned, will let will let bulletproof. Okay. Your, your opinion, will anyone's opinion, match. It does not go through my skin anymore. Tell me, I've worked so hard for this. It wasn't, can uh, we girl. Yeah, it wasn't مكنتش بالليلة وضحاها. It was due to uh, it's due to all the hard work that I accepted my body. And I don't like the word accept. I mean, I came in peace with it because to me, had uh, had my body is still on a journey. I can still make it better. I can stay uh, still make it leaner, stronger, and. Um, healthier in a way uh, to me ma, I don't really use the term accept because uh, it has to so settle in with what you have to accept your body yeah yeah you settle with mm-hmm. what you have to me it's not like that to me uh, I will work on this I will work on my health and my body for the less for the rest of my life and the heavy man she had just me the other thing I struggled with was my hair. And now I have a, a very curly hair. 
وهذا الشيء اللي you can see on my logo on my uh, podcast logo because people always ask me وشي هذا اللوجو اللي درتي هون ما هو مش فاهمين باللي راه شغل graphic design of my hair because my hair looks the exact same way و you've seen it يا خي Voila, guys, honest feedback, the curly hair that we saw is the best thing that you can see in your life. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank Are you. Are going to send us your pictures? <laughs> Thank you so much. Maybe I will one day. <laughs> yeah, why not? It's really beautiful. And I love curly hair. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love it too. But this was not the case for so many years, and actually, the volume had uh, came from the closest people to me, and by that I mean my mom, my aunt, my friends, my uh, girlfriends in middle school uh, and in high school. Jean Ken had an obsession in our society with the Charles. Everyone considers the. Any type of hair, like my straight, ugly. I was called in middle school, شعر الخصم, شعر الحلفة, شعر لحرج. You name it, I've been called this. Oh, the thing is, it's not like a curly hair is ugly. It's a hair that we don't know how to deal with. I remember when I was my mom would brush my hair. If I had one one advice I would give to any girl who has a curly hair, don't fucking brush your hair. Curly hair is not for brushing. You can only brush it when it's wet, يعني when you are showering. Maybe ki uh لكم, uh, tutorial how to take care of your curly hair. Tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I came in peace with my hair. Kunsendor on YouTube, we saw a video called the Curly Girl Method, and I kept staring at it. Ujon Hamita, wait, there is the method. There is the method for this. I went and watched the video. He said that the Curly Girl Method, Curly Girl Method. I discovered it was the book. There is a whole book about how to take care of your hair. Malik Tishabli, the same woman who wrote this book, invented a whole brand of products, especially for curly hair. There is so much to learn about this. Uh, there are so many types to curly hair. Uh, Uh, you, you, first of all, you can't use shampoo because shampoo. Uh, <laughs> curly hair tutorial. I mean, after that, I'm going to show. 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 <تصفيق> بعدنا خلي لكم the book title in the description box تقدر تروح تشوفوه وحدكم قلت لك المهم اكتشفت بلي كان a lot a lot of girls living in peace with their curly hair وكامل فاتوا بالنفس تجربة اللي فوت بها أنا تاع they all wanted Charlie's كان كل سمانة I me and my sister both my sister Tani and curly hair tried the keratin. We did everything to make it uh less straight hair. And then uh curly girl method. Um there are a lot of girls internationally. I loved them at first. At first, I knew girls in Bulgaria, other, and then I discovered the curly, the Algerian curly girl, which is the Facebook group. The um, that's uh, you know tries mm-hmm. to normalize having curly hair in Algeria. The girls in it, they focus on products which are curly hair friendly. In Algeria, they teach you how to really take care of it. Bush, add, we have. That really, yeah, that really saved my ass. <laughs> It changed the way I did with my hair, and actually, yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, and now uh, I love my hair. I 
and I wouldn't change it for anything. I, I consider it to be my signature. It's on my podcast. It's my logo. It's my sign. And I can't describe how, how much I love my hair right now. It was a long journey, but uh, <laughs> at least I can say I made it. So uh, Yeah, you did. It's really inspiring too. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. So basically, this was it enough for my body. Uh, I had to deal with uh, being fat, having eating disorders, which I fixed later on, and my hair. I see. Well, basically for me, my illness, being tall, being fat at some point, but like, uh, you know, my skin color, and I ended up with mental health issues, but voila, look at me now. (laughs) <laughs> You're a queen now. And I, I actually was very short. Yeah. I've never, I never was bullied for that. So it's just, it's just my friends calling me It was never an issue for me. And uh, I actually, um, you know, my very first boyfriend was taller than me. And he found that very cute. <laughs> me being very short. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, guys I, love short <laughs> I loved being short and uh, from the beginning I can't stand the because someone made me love it. You know what I'm saying? Good like our very first contact with uh, an issue yeah. with our body will ch- shape our whole vision about it. Exactly. Zidi, what else were, were we uh, going to discuss? Yeah, uh, the action we're taking. So, Ntia, you are working yep. on a project with Dove. Uh, it's called the Self-Esteem Project. Can you uh, tell us a little Yeah, sure. So, uh, basically, uh, Self-Esteem Project for Dove will exist since 2005. دونك باقي ملي كان عندي 5 اون بصح جامي سمعنا به جامي سمعنا بلي كاين ناس لي they are advocating uh, باش uh, support people انهم they love themselves they love their bodies وكاين حاجه سموها body image ولا even self esteem i had no idea about it uh, حتى لوين uh, i met a friend who told me about it And she was like, you know, in Dove, uh, there is the self-esteem project, etc. I was so excited for it. So I kept always checking web- their website for a whole year and loving the things that they are doing. Uh, literally, voila, being in contact with uh, some of the people behind the project to Camel. Après, Lanza, uh, believe, uh, they wanted to start an advisory council of young people. And they decided to choose, you know, Kimangulu from each region, uh, one person to represent it. Then a friend of mine uh, suggested the idea and she was like, oh, you should definitely uh, take it and apply for that. So I did. And uh, at first, I didn't think that they will accept my profile, especially uh, when uh, they actually wanted influencers and bloggers to help in it. Because... You know, something to raise an awareness that you need to know famous people to do that. Uh, so basically, I was like, oh, maybe they will not take the, take my profile into consideration. But I really love it. So keep it next to my answers for them. I told them that uh, I know that you want uh, influencers to work with you. I know that you're the biggest company in the world. But my goal is to make a change in my small community. I really want to do that. I've been through a lot and I really want to change mine. So after I was uh, surprised, shockingly uh, receiving from them, uh, believe they loved what I wrote, who they really would love to have me on board. And I was like, well, girl, I made it. I'm part of it, Burka. Uh, so basically an advisory council that of, uh, he a mixture maybe in supporting gender equality, Maybe uh, in body image, self esteem, uh, supporting young people. Uh, according to their researches and their studies, they really struggle with uh, body image. They really struggle with their body image. They really struggle with their body 
affect them also in the future. Mais toujours, they keep thinking about those issues. Donc, vous avez vraiment des, des solutions about how to address them. Uh, we uh, they can support young people who camel. Donc, j'ai voulu l'idée that in each country, uh, they start projects in schools mainly uh, for young people. Ils déroulent des courses about body image, about self-esteem. Mais je fais vraiment other countries around the world they really care about this by example the united kingdom uh the last meeting on that hq the united kingdom and home uh they will project for young people in school bullying or someone is not perfect body image why people are different who believe in difference is beautiful they never think about actually uh judging one another because of the way they look will uh, you know, bullying other people. So it basically the project worked and had uh, good results, especially in the United Kingdom schools. We see that kids who project they were introduced to such topics, uh, you know, they uh, judge each other based on appearances. We see face had to allow more accepting for one another. Donc, what we are doing now actually is we are collecting data, we are trying to discover when the issues lead, uh, people are facing. Basically, uh, my, by being part of uh, the self esteem projects, and I, I do represent the whole MENA region, which is basically all the Arab countries, uh, yani North of Africa and also Middle East. Uh, I talk about the issues that, as women, we are safe in, we're, we're facing, voilà. <laughs> we're facing the issues that we are in the as females, especially uh, in the world, we have like, literally thousands of problems, millions of problems, <laughs> especially when it comes to body image and uh, self-esteem. So basically, uh, my job right now is to, uh, you know, to see what is going on out there in the world, to collect data, to uh, do surveys, to see other people, how do they react, their answers about body image. So in the Arab world, I have like, zero education about body image or self-esteem technique. They bully you. They talk about your body. They judge you anyway because of the way they look. So we're trying to find solutions and collecting, you know, les informations hadou ma gadi shi rahou fil batal. Après la ham rahini kono de statistique. We have uh, month monthly meetings online, like literally. Milin hikmo el meeting tana njibo fi ashiya kamel uhna. We discuss uh, the things that we're doing, the actions that we're taking to actually make things better. Which uh, one of the things we discovered lately are happening. Which one of the problems that are happening in South Africa, in North of Africa, that are happening in Latin America, that are happening in America, in Asia, in the Middle East. So we discuss everything. For the month, inshallah, for the end of 2020, we, inshallah, uh, we will finally uh, announce an official uh, report Canal, the things that we worked on for the whole year, min uh, December 2019, inshallah, December 2020, the actions that we did, uh, topics that we talked about, etc. Everything will be founded there, inshallah. I will make sure to post it for everyone so they can see the great work that we were doing. Uh, normally, we were cantonic uh, uh, collaborating, you know, with schools, which we try uh, the project on uh, some areas around the world, who are by far, it's been applied in 30 places around the world, can uh, millions of people who got influenced by the project. So our meetings got canceled. Uh, La face the project we had to do got cancelled. So basically, uh, uh, you know, you can find it online. Uh, you can only type Dove self esteem and you see the, the work that we are doing and the Dove team is doing, uh, which I thank them indeed for that. 
وثاني كده يور يور فولوين دوغ اون انستغرام راح نشوفوا باللي عندهم بارتي تاع لي سيري كاين لا سيري تاع جيرلز روم جيرلز روم هذه بيسكلي بلا سيري هذه يجيبوا ا جروب اوف جيرلز اند يو نو ان ذا باث روم وات دو دي دو فور اكزامبل وحده تو تيك سيلفي الاخرى تقول اه انا يا ما ام نوت بيرفكت شوف وحده باي اكزامبل الانستغرام تاعها خير من الاخرى عندها مور لايك اكسترا اكسترا سو يو سي دي جيرلز دي لي ستراجل مع بعضهم when it comes to body image or feeling that they aren't enough or that they aren't perfect. There uh, are collaborations that are home like my Cartoon Network. I don't want to watch Cartoon Network. I don't want to watch the Gumball. I don't want to watch the Gumball. I don't want to watch the Gumball. I am. Yeah. So uh, they collaborated with it. And also uh, a video game. So that video game is addressed to young people. But she loves it. And also, he is a lot of part of the body image too. So, your child is having fun, and at the same time, is learning what it is exactly. Ah, the part of body image and all of that. So, yeah, they are working on a lot of interesting things. We're trying our best. So, basically, these are the uh, things that I'm trying to contribute in. Yeah, that's really amazing and inspiring. And كما قلتي صح في العالم العربي جونغ تلمو عندنا المشاكل بزاف ما يخلصوش وعندنا قلة الدائرة والمعلومات والناس ما يريبورتيوش مشاكلهم لو يحبسوا كل شيء لرواحهم. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. That's the thing. أي ما على بالك شمنين تبدأي وكيفاش تديري و what's your plan? So I think what you're doing is really important. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm trying my best. Yeah, the fact that when I post surveys and stuff, they love to stay anonymous. Then they do not like to answer. Risk they think their answers will be used against them. So it's it's not really easy, you know. But you convince someone to talk to them. When you start discovering the issues. ما هيش كامل حاجة سهلة to open and a conversation مع عبد تقول له بلي voila we're working on projects we're trying to make things better me people they always get it wrong ولا يبدأوا يقولوا اه نورمال خلي الناس بعد الديان ولا etc يعني they give really silly comments uh, so you can imagine the pressure of working on international projects and at the same time facing the society and facing their ideas And which I want to talk to you about is is Fatma community a part of your self esteem work? Because I saw the post on the body, it was amazing. I really loved that post. Yeah, yeah. Well, Fatma community by far. I I cannot announce anything official about it. The Fatma community, he is Ikram. Uh, Ikram Noor reached me for the first time. He told me that I had a project to empower Algerian women in Kamel. And I was like, you know what? Count me in. So I decided to help and be the community manager for the Fatma community. Uh, I believe that at some point we need to make a change. And I Ikram being a really active female. So it was more like Ikram and Ikram who was on the project and he was on the world. Like literally that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> we post we uh, we discovered that there are reactions, there are many people who will even us in private contacting us about it. So the main idea of the Fatma community project is to support Algerian women in different ways and finding solutions for a lot of things, a lot of issues that we're facing nowadays. Uh, so yeah, we're taking things uh, step by step. We're working together. Ikram is a really amazing partner. I love working with her. So uh, I won't spoil more. Khlas, Juma, you stay connected. Shufuna will be posting in the future. And I really hope that uh, Fatma community uh, will make a great impact, literally. So I have a hope, a big hope in that project. At least it will change the way of thinking of people. Uh, towards many topics, especially uh, that concern women. Yeah, there's a teaser and we'll let you know what you're doing in our minds, like that. You should wait. <laughs> so I cannot spoil anything, but we are doing our best to, uh, you know, 
to make the projects really successful. is the impact. Yeah, and all she feels looks good to me so far. The design is good. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just say, stating my opinion. The people working on it are good. I don't know Ikram Lukhara that much because I only followed her. Well, since, you should get to know her. <laughs> since you shared the project, I will get to know her. So I think Futna Sa'a of uh, yeah. talking. So I think we should wrap this up. And uh, thank you so much, Ikram, for being here. Yeah. I really enjoyed talking to you. You're welcome. Thank you indeed for having me. The pleasure was mine. Vraiment, I enjoyed uh, on social media. And finally, uh, you know, revealing the truth. We pass through issues, but we need to know how to react to them. Yeah, and I think you will inspire so many people in stories. I hope so. That, that's the point. The description to have the podcast exclusive. معلومات لم تكن تعلمها من قبل عن إكرام العيمش. Anyway. عن إكرام العيمش. Anyways, uh, thank you again for being here and صح صحورك. صح صحورك. Thank you. Bye bye.